Ahem, ahem. Get a book of notes. She cute? Yeah. Alright, let's see. Cherry culture. <clears throat> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a cherry culture haul and I posted a pic of my whole setup on my table on Instagram and yeah, I got a few comments and a few likes within a few minutes of when I um, posted it and I was quite happy about that. So I'm going to show you what I got and I have the invoice here and I have all the prices. I bought this in, I think it was January and they had a sale which was I think up to 70% off or something like that. But I'm going to tell you all the prices as I show up all of the um, items. I'm also going to do some swatches for you. So I'm just going to jump right. So the first thing I got was the NYX Wonder Pencil. And it looks like this. I got the shade in dark. Um, this pencil is supposed to be used for pretty much concealing um, the waterline especially under your brows. Anything along that line. So... I'm just gonna do a swatch here on my hand and it is a really nice color um, I think it would be great for the waterline I've used it in my waterline just to test it I need my brow I'm not so crazy about it but um, the color is really good for me at least being a darker skin lady if you want it to go with the medium or light size up to you but it's a great alternative to the white pencil and something that looks just a little bit more natural Moving on, um, the next item is the Jordana Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm. And you know there's a lot of this going around on YouTube. All the chubby sticks from Tarte and Maybelline and all this good stuff. So I decided I wanted to try this. And of course their swatches online are not even, I don't know, they just don't work for me. Um, this one is a number 7 Rock and Rouge. And I'm going to do a swatch for you. It is a beautiful kind of almost orangey kind of red. The only thing I don't really like about it, it has some shimmer in it. But the shimmer is really not that big of a deal. It doesn't really show up in the swatch, but it does show up a lot on your lips. And it is a silver kind of glitter. If it was a little bit more um, fine glitter, um, I would like it a little bit more. But honestly, I usually just throw this in my bag and I put this on pretty much every day. I'm very sorry now that I did not get more because when I went back on the Tarot Culture site, like, I could not find any more. So, what can you do? Moving on. The next thing I got was the LA Girl Glamour Glitter. And this one is in High Roller. And, oh gosh. I If you are a glitter fan, you will absolutely love this glitter. Um, it comes in a little pot like this and it has a little plastic top. But what is so amazing about this is the actual glitter. It is so fine. Please excuse my fingers. I was swatching something else. The glitter is so fine. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to do a little swatch on my hand here. Just to show you how fine the glitter is. Try not to get glitter everywhere. The glitter is so fine. It's so beautiful. And this color is more of a brassy kind of gold slightly aged it's not too aged but it's not that bright yellow gold that you usually get i love that color it is so beautiful and again this is another product that totally sold out on cherry culture site i don't know if they're gonna get back more but i'm so sorry that i didn't pick up a few of those colors um i know i didn't mention the prices of the other stuff from before but this one was a dollar and 20 cent on sale it doesn't have the original price it's a dollar and 20 cent so the next thing i got was the jordana pro powder duo and it just looks like this i just really wanted to try a brow powder duo i honestly thought at first that it was going to be a wax kind of like the elf um but it's just two brow powders that one is a little bit lighter than the other um i just try to use the the whole brush it comes with and i don't really particularly fancy it i'm gonna have to play around with this because i usually prefer to do my eyebrows with a pipe so that's just my preference um at one time i used to do it with the powders but i find the powders sometimes are a little bit dark and then as the day goes on and the oil seep through the makeup and the primer it just gets really really dark and i don't really like that look but you know um i'm just gonna include two swatches just because this is the lighter color and this is the darker so this is lighter and that is darker so 
as you can see here this is the lighter one and that's the darker one they are a little bit um, cool tone definitely cool tone and more kind of taupey if anything I don't use it for my brows I would definitely use it as a transition color a crease color if you want something that's a little bit more cool and this was a dollar and eight cents so not bad if you don't use it for one thing you can definitely use it for something else right right so the next three products I got was the Jordana quick liner for eyes and I got three colors I got a black one a silver one and this one is called the wine but it looks more of a kind of brown so these are the swatches the top one is black silver one here is of course silver lining and this one at the bottom is called the swing which really does look more of a brownie kind of color so like more like an eggplanty kind of color so it's not bad at all um if you wanted to line your eyes without using a black that would definitely be the color for you it looks really nice on my eyes very natural but it still darkens the lash line and gives you that look that you would want definitely something good for every day if you don't want to use black or you're tired of using black or anything along that line so these are really nice they're very nice and creamy and they blend out really easily so quite happy with that next up is the Jordana Fabu liner now I saw this on YouTube I think it was Carly Bible or Carly Bell or something like that on YouTube she usually uses this and I decided I would try it this one was a dollar and 80 cents and it comes with a tip that looks like this and it is completely firm all the way through so of course you can make um, you know thin lines or you can make it a little bit heavier or whatever the case may be I do not mind the um, thickness of the marker however I don't find it to be as dark as I would want it to be it is not as intense as say something like the elf liquid liner or even the elf um elf what hmm. it's not as intense as the elf liquid liner or or even the elf um like this kind of pencil liner kind of thing so that's my only problem with it it really doesn't give me the intensity that I want so I'm gonna have to play around with it but I have to say for now that I, I don't really fancy it very much I really don't and like I said before that was a dollar and eighty cents so not too bad the next two things are the LA Splash mineral um, shadows they come separately but they're stackable so when you remove the top like this you can just take it out and screw it in to the bottom I don't want to take it out no and it just fill all of the place the two colors I got were stingray and hurricane now stingray is a beautiful gray color that has lots of shimmer in it and I'm gonna do a quick swatch for you guys so this is a swatch of stingray and it's actually a very nice gray kind of color and it has some almost kind of blue sparkle to it you have to look really closely for it so hurricane is very pink when you swatch it on your hand and you definitely get the silver glitter showing up those were three dollars each and i do like them i prefer the stingray color a little bit more than i do the hurricane color but that's just a matter of preference that's all next three things are for la colors and these are the jumbo eye pencil and I got three colors I got vacation which is a nice purple that has some silver sparkle in it which I do not like um, the other one is lemonade and the last is popsicle so I'm just gonna do some swatches for you so this one here is vacation and I absolutely love the purple however my biggest problem with this is the silver glitter in it it was a perfectly good base color and they put summer in it and I don't really like it so if you like that kind of thing it would be great obviously if you put a shadow oil on the top of it you're not gonna see the purple sh the shimmer in it sorry the silver shimmer but you know these are one this one is called lemonade and it's an absolutely beautiful bright green I did a look with this yesterday and I have every intention of putting this up probably before this video but um, it's a matte bright kind of Kelly green I want to say or maybe a little bit, little bit even brighter and the last color here is popsicle and this is kind of a orangish almost 
peachy kind of coral color and I thought that this is really nice this one would be a really nice color for summer or spring or anything like that um, these are very creamy and they go on easy and they blend out so easily I really do like them though very comparable to the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils so um, yeah these ones were $1.20 so yes I decided I had to get these three colors because they were different and um, yeah I have color bases already so these three were different colors from what I had moving along the next thing I got is all over YouTube it is absolutely raved about by gurus everybody normal people is the LA girl pro concealer and this one is a fawn and I used it to highlight my face today and yes honey I got my light I got my light this is so I just <sighs> yes, yes, yes. This is the best highlighter, concealer kind of color that I have. Um, yeah, it's great. I, I don't even have words for it. It's so nice. This color is absolutely amazing. But as everyone else has said on YouTube, you really need to do one side of your face at a time because this does dry down pretty quickly i'm not gonna even try to say what kind of color it is but it is perfect for highlighting if you really want that really glamorous look and i highlight it underneath my eyes and i took my real techniques contour brush and just blended it out my forehead my chin a little bit down my nose yes honey this is worth it and this was um three dollars even though it's on sale I got mine a whole set from Ikea House which is over here in that package right there. Those two boxes, those two things, I have another um, haul to do. This was $3 and I got mine from Ikea House for $1.99 so I just want to hit the fun because everybody was talking about it and W45 girls, this is great for highlighting. Love it, just, oh. I did it underneath my eyebrows as well, it's just absolutely love this color this is great the next thing is a free product i got which i don't really know if it's relative, relative to what i'm doing right now um this is a cherry culture lip balm and grape and i just put it over my lipstick right now to give it a little bit of shine it is moisturizing um smells like grapes keeps my lips nice and conditioned that's about it next thing i got was this brush set from la colors and it is the eyeshadow shader and blending brush and I have used these already. They're pretty good. The blending brush is really great for getting any crease. It blends out your colors really well. And the eyeshadow brush is great. I really like it for applying color underneath my eyebrows. Um, it gives you right a more color without being too harsh. Like if it was maybe, brush is it? This one from, which brush is it? This one from BH Cosmetics. This one is great for packing on intense color, but this is a little bit more fluffy and definitely a little bit more loose. So the colors are applied so nicely, so lightly, so everything is perfect for that. I'm going to do a separate review on these two brushes, but even though these were, and I'm checking my price list here, $1.20 for this, the, these brushes are actually really good quality. I've had minimal shedding, not too much shedding. Um, but I have used them before and they work really well for me so this was a great buy. definitely love it the next three things are palettes and these are from LA Colors and I had to get them they were $2.70 and the colors at first I was not going to buy any and then I decided I'm going to try all three I got this one called Smoking let's see if I can open it away from the glare and I'm gonna do a separate review on these and everything just showing you what I have right now these are the colors in smoking it comes with this little two-sided um applicator you know sponge tip applicator this is a look at the palette and I'm not gonna swatch any of these because that would take a long time I am however gonna do a separate video for these palettes because they're really nice um next one I got was sweet and sweet is very neutral tone so all you girls out there who like neutral tones yes this palette will be for you and the last one I got was hot you know like hot couture kind of thing 
and these are some bright fun spring colors that is really attracting me they're so bright and colorful great for spring summer for me i would wear them anytime honey it doesn't really matter i don't particularly have colors that look like this the only thing that i do have that reminds me of this is the sleek um original palette but i will do a video on these palettes and see if i can find anything in any of my other collection that would be similar but yeah these are quite nice the one thing i will say right now is the darker the color the better the pigmentation the lighter the color it starts to look like just silver so yeah they're all shimmery they're not matte so yeah that's just a quick mini review in the middle of it and those like i said before 270 can't remember if i mentioned it and the last thing i got was the la girl gel liner it comes in a box like this i have used it before it comes with a little brush like this and the top of the brush is very interesting because it's not slanted like how you would usually get your brushes it's more of a kind of a wrong tip it, it looks honestly like a lip brush it would do well for a lip brush because it has a bit of give in it it's a little bit more flexible and I do like my gel liner brushes to be very uh, stiff just preference and then the gel liner itself comes in this cute little bottle that is frosted um, the size is comparable to one second the size I was thinking that is comparable to the BH Cosmetic lip primer but it's a little bit shorter than that it's just that the base of it is a little bit more um, thick it's the same kind of size and stuff like that um, this is the BH Cosmetics gel liner so this one is a little bit bigger um, you get a fair set of product in here honestly I think you get, might get more product than even in the BH Cosmetics gel liner I think so and it's smooth it's creamy it applies um, really smoothly onto the eye and um, it doesn't really smudge or anything although I don't really put my hands on my face and mess it up but I suppose that this would do really well for like a base, if you want a black base or liner, anything like that. This works really well. It's very smooth, very creamy, very opaque. It goes on really nicely. I do like this. I have used this before. And if you want me to do a review, which I probably will anyway because I do like this, um, just leave a comment down below. So that is my Cherry Culture haul. I must say, I am in love with how they package this stuff. It's a lot of waste, but... I got three of these in my bag. You see the length of this thing? So they separated out my order into three of those bundles and they wrapped them up really tightly and they put them in a box. Um, it took a long time. Everybody complains about how long it takes to ship the stuff. The processing time is ridiculous. I think I had to wait almost a week, probably like four days. Absolutely ridiculous. Yes, yes, yes. They do take international credit cards. They do ship internationally. So if you want to take a chance with the post office you can although most of the time it comes to the post office people will just say give me a dollar fifty and go long so hey but then I don't want to you know lose my stuff so hey it is really up to you what you want to do um yes I do like most of the things that I have here and I'm probably going to do some review videos just to get the product out there you know get my reviews out there my ideas and everything um thank you guys for sticking around i'm gonna film some more hauls i was gonna do a massive haul but then i realized this video is probably gonna be really long so i decided i'm gonna split it up into three so the next two hauls i'm gonna do for you are a kit house and shop miss e so just keep on watching for that don't forget to click like and subscribe and i will see all guys next time bye